I have a big problem. You see, this month I'm trying to make 4 different games, but I'm running out of time. So to help me solve this problem, I'm going to try and make a game in only 24 hours. Can I do it? So here's the idea. Trash will spawn on this conveyor belt and slowly be moved into this trash bin. The player has to pick up and sort the trash into the correct recycling bin before it reaches the end of the belt. They'll get a point for every bit of trash sorted and we'll lose the game if any falls into the trash can. Seems like a simple enough idea. What could possibly go wrong? Let's get started with the art. I decided to make the art in this hand drawn style that I used for my previous game because I liked it so much. Creating all the art took me around 2 hours so I really needed to get a move on. I imported the art into Godot and made a drag and drop system based on this one by Dami OS. I then added some gravity to the objects so that they fall when they're not selected. I also for some reason made 3 different versions of the can object so I made it so when it spawns it's given a random version. Next I implemented the conveyor belt and made any objects that were colliding with it move to the right. To make it look like the conveyor belt was moving I made these gears rotate. Everything seems to be going great so far but that's not exactly true. You see when you move an item around you can push a bunch of the other items which isn't exactly ideal. Also if you stack the items on top of each other they just stop moving. You're probably wondering how I fix these issues. Well the first one was super easy to fix. I just disabled the object's collision box when it's selected. The second one was a bit harder to fix and by harder to fix I mean I didn't fix it. So uh, don't do this and uh, you'll be fine. Moving on, I added the bins to the game and made it so when you drag an item to the correct bin, it gets removed and gives you a point. You can't see the points on screen yet, so you'll just have to trust that I've added this. At this point, I had been working on the game all day, so I decided to call it there and try to finish up in the couple of hours that I had tomorrow. The next day, I started by making the background for the game. I'm not very good with this stuff, so I was super happy with how it turned out. If you haven't already noticed, I also added a score counter to display the score. After this, I only had around 2 hours left and I realised that I haven't even completed the main gameplay loop yet. I still had to implement the trash spawning system and the game over screen, so I got to work and after about an hour and a half I was done. The majority of the time was spent on the trash spawning system as I had to tweak it a bunch to get it working correctly. I also decided to change the way that the player loses the game. Instead of just having one chance, the player now gets 3 chances. Every time an item falls into the trash can, the player will get a strike, and if they get 3 strikes, they'll lose the game. With the gameplay loop now done, I had to spare half an hour, which was just enough time to add some sound effects. If you want to know what they sound like, go check out the game on my itch page, which I'll link below. With this game done, I only have one more game to make. Check out this video on screen to see how it went.